Hey guys, what's going on? I know, it has been a while, hasn't it? I'm dealing with some internet related issues for who knows how long now, but I believe, believe they are now resolved. So hopefully, what that means for you guys is you get to watch this live stream in its wonderful 2K glory at 20,000 bit rate. So 20,000 kilobits per second. And hopefully, it no longer craps out in the middle of the streaming where it forces me to restart the stream. So we'll see how that part actually goes. But for now, today we're going to be flying in the AH-640 Apache on Grey Flag C9. Unfortunately, it looks like it might be late in the day, or at least based on the sun position, so let's see what the time is like. Yeah, it's pretty late, so it's going to become a night mission probably during the stream. Hopefully that's not too big of an issue, but I guess we'll find out when the time comes. Also, this will be the first stream where I actually use the FCR. Hopefully I can put it to good use. Uh... Just that uh, Grey Flag in general is known for having units huddled up behind buildings, inside trees. So it may not actually work out that well, but I no. won't know until we try. How are y'all doing today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys were going to enjoy the stream. Zoom that out. Also, we have quite a long flight in one direction, considering we're taking off from the Tarawa. Uh, so, hopefully... Actually, I've, I haven't even mapped out how long this is. This is, uh... Oh, my goodness. That is 60 nautical miles. Um... Well, I hope you guys don't mind dark, <laughs> night missions, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be night by the time we get there. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... At least do this for now. We'll set up the waypoint so we at least know what we're flying towards. So point, add, put this a target point. And then it's going to be idents. Three, six, Romeo, Victor, uniform. So let's change that to uniform. And then six four four two six four four two seven nine eight nine seven nine eight nine enter five sixty one all right cool we're good to go let's now route ourselves to that direct point ah oh, crap <laughs> I didn't pay attention to what that was it was T zero four route Correct point. Uh, pretty sure you just do T04 like that. Yeah. 115! Jesus. Uh, okay. I'm joining DCS thanks to your controller config. No problem. Glad to be of service. I'm always happy to hear whenever people are, are able to enjoy DCS thanks to my layouts. That always makes me happy. But if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help to give some tips. If you are running into any issues, let me know. I'll, be, I'll hopefully be able to answer any questions you might have. So I'm going to turn that on. All right, George, let's get out of here. Oh, man. The, the lights on the carrier are already online. That's how you know it's late. Okay. That's already set. That's set. We're going to start using the NVG soon. All right, let's just get out of here. And we're off. Just out in this direction. Fly straight for who knows how long. And hopefully we'll be able to get some work done before getting shot down. Right, let's uh, trim for wind speed or wind direction instead of nose tail. You know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so, 
what I would normally do is I would just do like a face cam style live stream because I've been setting that up quite a bit lately at least when I was streaming before but I recently came across some comments saying that they don't that some people still don't believe that I use a controller for DCS and I feel like the only way I can dispel any kind of like doubts is if I were to just do like a hand cam of me using a gamepad at the same time like I don't know what other better way to show that I'm using just this guy in order to play DCS so here it is hey what's up ghost gaming welcome So we are nice and trimmed up with a trim ball. Uh, I'm going to increase my collective so we don't uh, decrease in altitude as we head out in that direction. Oh my god. Apparently it's going to take 37 minutes at our current rate. So let's uh, step on the collective quite a bit more. Bump that up to 100%. And nose down a little bit so that we increase our speed. Let's move that flight path marker over home plate. Or the direction plate, I guess, is... That's what that's called. Get that center ball trim. Get a little bit of the left pedal. And... I should just about do it. There it is. Nice and trimmed up. Hey, nice man. Glad to hear it. Have you ran into any issues on any of the binds? Let's uh turn these down just a tad. They seem a little loud on my end. There we go. That should be good. Enough. Nice. Glad to hear it. They are withstanding the test of time, so that's good to know. We'll say, DCS still looks pretty. This is one thing I wish VTOL VR had. That is clouds. Now, I know there was a previous version of VTOL VR which allowed clouds to happen, but if I remember right, they were super performance uh, heavy, so that's why we don't see them today. <laughs> Look at me crabbing off like that. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably turn on my FCR. Uh, what was it again? FCR. Oh. FCR, I'm on. Uh, oh boy. Have I already forgotten my binds? Or are they not set up? Rescan. Try that again. Uh oh. I mean, clearly my binds are working. Hold on. Is it because I'm in the back seat? This controls. FCR? Yeah. FCR is left. Why don't you want it? Is it because you're not on? I can't. I, that's kind of weird. Alright, so we'll unpin it. And then we'll override the bit test, and then come back, and go here, and go back to... Oh, strange. For whatever reason, I thought you can you select site FCR, Tell even though it's not actually on it. Alright, we're gonna tune away from 129.4, because I want to hear that over and over again when people make callouts. Manual. Here. 129.4. Decimal five. East. All right. Anyways. No, oh, yeah. VTOL is an excellent game. I enjoy it quite a lot, especially from a content creator's perspective, because it's a lot easier to put videos together when it's already recording the external shots for you. It's so nice. Unlike DCS, where I have to play the game the first time. And then I have to rerun the replay of the entire game session and hoping I can get some good external shots all along the way, but it doesn't always work out that way. So what I need to do is I need to figure out a way to 
presets a bunch of external shots. That way I can just hit like a, a number on my keyboard and say, okay, at this point I want this shot, at this point I want this shot. Instead of having to like manually move the camera like this every few seconds because say I want like a, co a cockpit shot like this, I have to do that. And sometimes it's not exactly the right place, then I have to like zoom out and then I have to move over in this direction, who knows, you know, things like that. But if I could do all that beforehand and set them as like uh, presets, that would be amazing to have. Because then I could just hit the exact ones I want all throughout the recording. That would make my life so much easier. I think F4 is the same. Yep, F4 is also the same. Got a friendly Apache right here behind us. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Just a talking controller at this point. I'm controller of the hands. Oh, should I go with... Yeah, I'll just go with Scheme A and that should be fine. I know there's three different schemes you could choose from, so you see here where it says Def Scheme A. If I remember right, Def Scheme A is prioritizing um, moving targets and airborne targets, so things like helos and moving vehicles. And then Scheme B, if I remember right, prioritizes moving targets but it ignores helos or was that scheme C? I'm gonna have to look that up to, to double check. But for now I guess I'll just stick to alpha. Yeah, thanks so much man. I really appreciate it. It's a, it's a lot of work, I, I have to admit, but I'm glad it's helping out so many people because in the end the only reason why I make these videos is because I enjoy the stuff I do and I want other people to enjoy it too. So as long as I can help that along, I am happy. And also, it's kind of nice I can afford a cup of coffee every week or so, based on the <laughs> based on the AdSense revenue. Oh my god, look at that. Yeesh! Great ball of fire. That two-thirds rule shot somewhere around there. That's about two-thirds. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's going to be dark by the time we get anywhere close to our objective. Let's decrease our collective so that it's maintaining, maintaining our current altitude. There we go. And press and hold force trim to reset our servos. Increase set servos. Increase the servos. Yeah, that'll work. Increase one more time. Reset servo. Yeah, come around there. Should be good. Now we can altitude hold, I think, safely. Since we've been at this for a while, it shouldn't be freaking out too much. All right, hopefully that stays put. We'll see. I haven't had the best luck with uh, the altitude hold mode, especially when in cruise like this. Uh, but hopefully this actually sticks to it. Least cinematic DCS experience. <laughs> oh, 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 I got, I got you, I got you. Let me see if I can... So if we do something like this... Oh, we have to do something like this. That's cinema cinematic, right? <laughs> It'd be better if I had my head tracker turned on, that way I could give an alternate perspective, but... Um... Or, better yet, I can do something like... Oh, that's a little too fast. See, if I had my head tracker, I'd be facing the Apache right now, but I can only, like, look straight ahead where I'm going. Meanwhile, this guy is, like, trying to fly formation over here. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not very cinematic, unfortunately. Ah, jeez. <laughs> I can get a shot of me looking to the right like that over at the other Apache. <laughs> All right, anyways, whew, look at that. Got a couple more helos over there. Can't tell what those are. I assume more Apaches. But they could be like UEs or UH-60s or something. Can't really tell from this distance. Or they could be, hold on. Those MI-8s? No. Oh, mi twenty four. sorry. It looks like there might be some targets in the city. We could try to take those or find those. I don't know if our FCR... Pretty sure the FCR can't find squishy human bodies. Only vehicles. Well, that's one objective we could check out. Otherwise, we're going to keep on going off in this direction until we reach these guys down here. But they might need the help. Hmm. You know what? Let's see if we can... So they're, uh, they're gonna have a hell of a time trying to find stuff in that city. It's this one right here, I think. Oh, it's actually a little bit behind? No, no. That should be right here. I actually prefer to do night missions. It's an incredible weapon system because... Yep. I agree. Oh! <laughs> Remember when I said I could probably rely on the altitude hold? <laughs> wow, that is, uh, that is not holding what I told it to hold. Alright, let's see if there's a way we can signal this other Apache that we're about to turn. Let's go this way. We'll scope out this city. Man, look at these lights. I forgot that they enhanced the uh, the night lighting. This is pretty cool now. If I get the job in my school, I'm going to build a gaming PC. Nice. It's totally going to be worth it. It'll last you a good, like, five to seven years with that kind of system. Yeah, so... I know I've been able to push the Apache pretty hard, like 170, 180, but that's only with a very light configuration. Like, during the, uh, the Verpal race, 150 to 160 was probably about the best I could do with the, uh, with the racetrack. I could probably push it further than that, but, uh... But that's assuming basically no fuel, no weapons, no ammo, things like that. Hey, have you ever done ECW? Oh, uh, Enigma's Cold War? Yes, I have. Not, not a lot. I've done it, like, maybe three, four times or so, something like that. Um... Oh, FYI, it looks like an ad is about to play from YouTube, so I will do my best to, like, hover in a spot so that you guys don't have to, like, miss out on any action. But, uh, apparently YouTube is about to run an ad in 20 seconds or so, so just a heads up. We're gonna chill here, though, and find a spot to hover and scope out what this city is like. Can't wait to see everything on the Chinook and F4. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm really looking forward to the F4 as well as the Chinook, but we'll we'll see how it all turns out once it's actually here. I 
Okay, well, I don't know if the, the <laughs> I don't know if the ads are over. Okay, there we go. Cool, thank you. We're currently just getting into a hover. Thank you for the notifications. I really don't know how the ads work in uh on YouTube live streams, so this is this is kind of new for me. Oh boy, might be a little heavy to hover, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll try to make it work. We're just over we're over torquing the engine a little bit. Yeah, that does. Hopefully, we aren't sinking. Shouldn't be. Worst case, I'll just dump my rocket pods and be done with it. All right, George, what do you spot? Wasn't gun. Anything out there? And slave, deslaving. There's an air target. That is not what we care about. So let's see. Okay, I need to increase the collective just a tiny bit. I want to maintain my altitude, not drop. All right. Now, let's go ahead and set up our night vision. There we go. Well, I guess we don't really need it right now. Let's set this to pilot helmet sight so that the FCR looks where I want it to. Let's go ahead and set you to just guns. Pausing gun. And now, let's scan. Detecting a helo. That's about it. What I think we'll do is we will... Oh, actually zoom in a little bit. There we go. Oh, we're not even covering that portion of the city, so we actually have to move forward a little bit. At least we know we're looking in the correct direction. We're just only covering about this much. And right now we're seeing our friendly Apache there. So we need to move forward a bit. We'll increase our airspeed to about, I don't know, 30 knots? Probably good enough. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right around here. Yeah, that'll work. Are you for real playing Xbox? How <laughs> how do you work the rudders? Ah, the triggers. That's it. I've set up the rudder control on the triggers. Pitch and roll on the left stick, looking around on the right stick, and then throttle or collective on A and B. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, we're going to keep edging forward here. I hate getting this close to a city like this, but unfortunately the range on the FCR isn't great. Hopefully we can pick something up. Condor 2, Echo 1, 4. It's a missile forward left. Sounds like it's the Apache. In fact, let's turn on our night vision so that if there are missile trails, we can see them pretty easily. And let's have George look around for a bit. Only see the helo. Alright, this is close enough. This is as close as I'm willing to get to the city. Missile, missile, forward. Um I'm not hearing any call outs, I'm gonna assume that's on us. I'm gonna drift ever so slightly to the left. Do uh, yeah, we'll do about 30 knots. We should do. All right, we'll just continue drifting left while we continue our scan, and hopefully we can pick something up as we move. Oh, that is. And sleep. What is that? There's something out there. Ah, George, I need you to 
Get on your game, man. They watch a lot of Growling Center, so I know a good bit about aircraft stuff, but not all the weapon systems. Yeah, I mean, despite VTOL VR being relatively simplistic, at least relative to DCS, it's still surprisingly difficult for someone that's just getting into flight sims. It's, uh... There's a lot to learn, despite its simplified systems. And I think I might just switch to the Frenzy, because George just is not going to be doing good with this particular objective. I saw a gunfire going off in the distance, but... Can't do anything about it because George doesn't know how to, like, investigate and set a, set a store plane and all that. So we'll just switch over to the Frenzy ourselves and do it. How do you, how does he make the rudder work? The R1 and R2 are not linked, are they? Do you have any HOTAS? Well, I do have a HOTAS, so I do have a full verbal setup, but I still prefer using my Xbox style controller because I can't really technically call this an Xbox controller since this is a third party. They have to be shooting at one of our friendlies. Pretty sure it's all, yep, there it is. So let's uh, increase our collective so we don't drop an altitude. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Then bring down the brightness. Let's set this. Altitude hold. Set that. Uh, bring down the gain. Nope. Bring down the level. Nope. <laughs> What do I want? I want less brightness? No, that's for the monitor. What is going on with this? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Let's use this. So there's something out here that is causing a commotion. Hey man, how are you? Just saw your EF24 video today and gotta say I was pretty... Yeah, nice man. Glad you're enjoying it. I put in a lot of work to try and make the gameplay as entertaining as I can help it. It's just a long process, but luckily VTOL VR actually makes it super easy to put put together a decent gameplay videos. It's actually really nice. It's a nice uh, breath of fresh air when it comes to content creation. Uh, spe as far as specs, I'm running a 4090 with a Intel Core i... Oh, it's Someone in this chat just said what it was. It was a 13900, but the F version, the Foxtrot version. I also have 64 gigs of RAM and uh, M.2 SSD. So I'm going to check this out. Let's go ahead and store that as target point 5. SD. Oh my god, that's bright. Um, turn that down. Turn that down. Turn down the brightness to about half. Turn down brightness to about half. Okay, good enough. Target point five, slave. That is not where I, sp <laughs> where I set that, but that's okay. And then we will uh, just fly off in this direction. And off. That's altitude hold. And let's do a circle around that objective area, if we can't spot anything. And let's also set this guy up to be the flight page, so we could keep an eye on our altitude. Make sure we're not descending too rapidly. I could have George fly me, but I don't trust him, so I'm just going to do it myself. Okay, now let's do that. I'm going to set... Oh, it's already set to T05. Can bring up the brightness of this? Maybe lower the contrast? There we go. That's what we want. Okay, cool. Uh-oh. Slave. All right. Let's see what's out there. Hopefully we don't get shot at. Oh! 
Please don't tell me that's a building. I really hope that's a target. You guys can't tell, it's right at the top of my middle screen. That is a potential target of interest. Let's go ahead and get settled down here. It's a lot easier to fly like this in the K-50 compared to the Apache. In fact, let's, uh, since we're already slaved there, let's bring up my iHads so I can actually see what we're doing. Sorry guys, I know there's a lot of chat happening, but <laughs> give me a second to, <laughs> to try and get stable. Okay, this should be good. Okay, good enough. Oh, yeah, you're right. Good point. Let me, uh, let me move this somewhere else. Move this over to the left. Be good enough, right? Ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it stuck to the to the edge of the thing, though. Well, let's put 50 pixels. And 50 pixels. There we go. That should be good, right? <laughs> Fab cam. <laughs> uh. Oh, right. Uh, so someone asked, what server I'm on? I'm currently on Gray Flag Sinai. If you guys want to join, you have to have Sinai. And also, you need to have SRS installed as well as a couple mods. The U860 mod and the C130 Hercules mod, if I remember correctly. Okay. So the thing I was interested... I swear to God. was Is this all it was? Hold on. I swear. Oh wait, here we go. What is that? Oh, I can't tell what that is. What is that though? That, that just looks like a truck? Did. Oh. Where are you being shot from? Where are you being shot from? Come on, do it again. Please, just light him up. Where is he? 5,000 meters, not bad. Oh. Where are you shooting? I don't think that's where the targets are. What is this? That's the same truck, god damn it. <laughs> uh, that's a vehicle, another vehicle. Saw some tracer fry, I just didn't see where it came from. We're just gonna have to hang out here until we see another glimpse of where things might be at. Okay, anyways. Uh we have to do like a I have to keep one eye looking at the screen and another eye hold on, actually before I look at chat. This guy's going in for another run. Let's see if he gets shot. Oh, Jesus. Over there, really? Everything is now on fire. The villain casualties be damned. I mean, I don't see any more tracers coming out, so that could be effective. Nope, still contested. Okay, well... Guys, I'm going to rely on you, because I'm going to start reading the chat, and I need you to tell me roughly where tracers come from in, in the event that they show up. Because now I'm going to look at chat and catch up with you guys. So start screaming at me if you see tracers and roughly where they're at. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. where are we? Hey, crazy, your cursor aim in... Ever thought of doing eSports? <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not good with a controller when it comes to eSports related stuff. At most, fight. At most, I'm good at fighting games, but first-person shooters, absolutely not. I am never using an FPS with a gamepad. Um, but if you guys do want to see me play an FPS with a standard keyboard and mouse, I occasionally stream Modern Warfare 3. 
Very rarely. It's a game I do enjoy, but um, I know it's not the usual content people come and see me for. Ah. So good. So good. Coffee's so good. Oh, what was that? I just saw a flash. Was that just an explosion? Oh. Oh, that's them firing. Okay. Here we go. So it looks like there's some stuff right here. So I'm going to do that. Save that as a target point. M. Sorry, not M. PSD. Board. E06. Slave. We're going to reposition for that. So we're going to go to the uh, west side of the city. See if we can't spot what is exactly happening over there. But that's a flight so we can see what we're doing. Here we go. Okay, good enough. Alright, so while we reposition, I'll catch up with chat. Thanks for that. Server mission, this is. I already answered that. We should start learning DCS properly. <laughs> It's a lot. It is a lot to take on. So, I've been playing this game for many years now. Probably over half a decade at this point, And I still have more to learn. So, don't feel too bad that you haven't learned a lot because most of us barely know anything as is. Also, I feel like... I may not have gotten exactly the point that they were shooting at, but it looks like whatever they were shooting at is running through this area here. But I kind of doubt they'd be in the middle of these buildings here. I guess we'll uh, we'll see once we reposition to the west. We just need to get ourselves aligned with this block so that we can look down the streets and get a better view of stuff. Right now, oh, so there's a target right there. So let's uh let's go ahead and come back around this way and then we'll park it once again in this area. Oh, this is getting scarier and scarier to do. <laughs> I mean, as long as I fly based on my instruments, it should be fine. It's just uh can't help but feel a little nervous operating at night. But as long as the instruments are telling me exactly what I'm doing, I should be okay. Should be good. Nice and level. Let it calm down while we take a look. I have faith in our systems. So there's that thing, which is a tank. I can take that out really quick. Oh, he is staring right at me. Looking into my soul right now. Oh, don't you dare. Thank God. Okay. That is one shack T90. And apparently, the enemy also has Abrams, so even if we see Abrams, those are potentially targets to kill as well. What is that? That is a truck. Alright, uh, before I forget, let me, let me keep getting through chat, because I need to get used to this. Hey, Space Monkey! Welcome, man! How's it going? Great to see ya. Of course, the first thing you say on my stream is something about the F-16. <laughs> of course it is. In your opinion, what jet is better, the F-18 or F-16? I... That's a good question. I think it depends on what you want to do. I think the F-18 is overall... God. 
I don't know, man. Like, my first instinct is, is to say the F-18. But the F-16 has a superior seed system. It has CBU 105s. It has a Time 6 AGM-65 Maverick options. It's a very good aircraft. And technically, I... I mean, unless you're, you're also looking at, like, the F-18s, um... I don't know, like, cruise missiles and stuff? Then, sure, it has that edge over the F-16. But, I mean... I don't know, I feel like the F-16 overall, when it comes to munitions and capabilities, it technically has the edge on the A-18. But, carrier ops. Carrier ops, I really enjoy. And for that reason alone, I would say the F-18 is better. Just because you can do so much more in one sortie. Like, in terms of, like... Not just like weapons, but also just other tasks, like flying around, landing on a carrier, things like that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna look around and see if we can't find anything else. Also, are we holding altitude? Now we are. You're going to the dungeon? I'm sorry, Sp I'm sorry, Spunky. <laughs> F-16 is a great plane, I just don't like it as much as the 18. And keep in mind, all other planes are are behind the Avia B Harrier for me anyways. Okay, did we... we haven't captured it yet. In the correct area, because we have this stuff here. Losis directly ahead, and then this stuff here on the left, which is somewhat open. Can I kill a friendly T-90? No. So where we're looking right now is straight down friendly territory. And I doubt we carry T-90s. So that's this area here. And the area with more openness, so we have like blocks... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, like, I saw we had blocks that weren't being populated, so I thought this was just open space, but as you zoom in, there's just a ton of space. So, where we want to look is a little bit off and to the left. And it looks like someone's using infantry to try to find the last remaining units. Uh, how far away is this? It's not too bad. Let's set this to our FCR. Sorry, not our FCR, our TADS. Oh, we can't. Oh, be right. So, let's do, let's do it this way. So, we'll do that. Store that. Then we will set coordinates target point seven. Then select our FCR and then scan target point seven. Whoa. What's that? What's that? I want to see that. I want this. And now let's set our TADS. We'll set the FCR as our acquisition source. Slave to whatever that is and zoom in. That is nothing. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's just make sure. Okay, yeah, so I can go to that. So let's go to this. Okay, so let's look around here, see if... There's a reason why it thinks something is here. Is, it, oh. is that? Oh, God. I really hope our dudes don't carry M4s and look like green blobs on a F <laughs> on a Tads from six kilometers away. Oh man. What sucks is that there's literally like, oh no, he's moving. So, because he's not moving, oh please, is it this guy? He's he's not a stinger. That has to be him. That has to be the guy we're looking for. Oh, I swear. Okay, here we go. Rifle alpha. Oh my god, please. I'm gonna feel so bad. God damn it! <laughs> oh. That's my bad. You look like an enemy. 
I swear, we don't have... Unless I was looking here? I don't think I was looking here. Because we're looking off to the left. Ever so slightly. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Let me, let me think about this. Where are we right now? Ah... Uh... Da, 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 da. So I'm pretty sure what I just killed was one of these guys. Not this group, because I would have seen the other ones as well. So I think he might have been like right here. Oh, is this what it was trying to show me? <laughs> oh, I bet you anything this is what my... Oh, that's going to be so weird. I bet you anything that's what my FCR picked up. If I re-slave and zoom in... Yeah, it's right there. God damn it. It's not an exact position. It's close enough for a radar shot, but I'm pretty sure that's what the FCR is picking up. God damn it. Okay, well, at least we know the relative position of our friendly units. That's my bad. You no, know, what we want to look for is just beyond that in that direction. So just beyond in that direction. So here somewhere. That is a store of some kind. I swear, this is the majority of the Grey Flag experience when it comes to helos, is just trying to find that last remaining unit. And all it takes is just one dude to, to prevent the capture of a bubble zone. I'm joining a K-50 with, with IL rockets to make it more bright. Sure, I'll take it. I don't know if it's going to help too much, just because... Well, I guess I could flip over to, um... The TV mode and then see what's out there using that, but I don't know if... Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. How come Harrier isn't great for air-to-air, -air, is it? Nope, <laughs> not at all. Uh, so the reason why I like the Harrier is just because it's a fun... It's a fun jet to fly. For me, it's the VTOL capability and air-to-air -air refueling capability, so I can literally land anywhere I want. So let's say someone's chasing me down, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to deal with this, I just land on top of a building and wait for them to pass overhead, and they'll never find me. Um, also, uh, air-to-air -air refueling is challenging because it has that offset probe on the left side, so that always taxes them the muscle memory a little bit. But on top of that, it also has times 10 JDAMs that can be rippled off all in one pass, so that's always fun as well. Okay, where was that tank? Well, that tank was, like, right here somewhere that we killed. <laughs> my fiancé rattled a bag and my dog immediately ran over and said, Hey, what's up? Yeah. She rattled a wrapper. Oh, boy. So, let's get a little... So, we know that the area you want to hit is over here. It's within 6k. It is within 6k, so I think we'll set that as our new target point. Coordinate, target point 8, select FCR, and scan that general area. Nada mucho. Does the pocket of the Harrier look exactly like the FE? Yeah, no, uh, that's actually pretty, uh, pretty standard expectation, just because... They, they share a lot of similarities when it comes to avionics. Uh, so, for example, the HSI page is very similar between the Harrier and the Hornet. That's actually not terribly surprising. Uh, let's actually do this. Oh, come on, Apache. Work with me here. Work with me just gonna do a little bit of an orbit around the city and hope we can pick something up and as long as we keep our speed up even if we're shot on oh. I see something is something just fly up into the sky I don't know maybe I'm seeing things 
So we'll do a little bit of an orbit around the city, and hopefully, as long as we keep our speed up, we shouldn't be, uh, be able to be hit. We can get shot at, but we should uh, be able to avoid most most fire. As long as it's not like guided AAA or something, you know? We'll put ourselves into a slight orbit. Something like this. 69 on the torque. 69 every time. Hold that altitude. Hopefully it actually holds it this time. And then we'll switch to FCR. And scan. And you are not scanning in the direction I want you to. So let's turn that off. Turn it off to the left. There we go. What is that? Do this. Do that. That's where I think that's still the... Um, I don't know how to feel about that. But we'll, uh, we'll save that as a target point just in case. Then we'll switch back over the FCR and then start scanning again. I'm very curious about that. What did it spot? See, this is one of the advantages of the FCR is it's able to find targets you normally wouldn't be able to. As long as they're like actual vehicles and stuff. And it prioritizes them based on what it identifies. Anything down this alley or something? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it thought it found. That's strange. Well, we'll keep scanning. as we continue this orbit. Hopefully our FCR is going to find something. What button do you use for collective? I use A and B. So B is collective up and A is collective down. Still holding. That's good. Because there's no way we're going to be able to find targets manually. I mean, I could try. I'll just give the FCR a chance with at least one orbit before we try to do it ourselves manually. In fact, let's uh, keep our eyes peeled like, peeled like this in case we see tracers coming out at us. But I'm willing to bet all that's left is probably just like foot soldiers, and the FCR is just not going to pick those guys up. Still not a. Yeah, I don't think it's going to find anything. Well, we still have to complete the orbit. Hmm. I'm still really curious what it found here. Like, what is up with that? Leave me to this point, so there must be something it cares about in that direction. But what I actually care about is closer to being behind me than, than anything, so let's change our direction a little bit. I don't know. Altitude hold off. Do it again. Alright. 
good enough. Let's see if we can slave to this. Do that, and slave, and then scan. Oh, what's that? Ah, I think that might, that might be the same target we saw earlier. Uh, but just in case, let's go ahead and select it. So we'll stop the scan, select our tads, select that, slave. You set this to the FCR. Slave. Oh, what's that? That might actually be different. What is this? Patchy, I need you to work with me. Okay, before I lose this, I'm going to... That might be a target. That might actually be a target. Okay, started stored as target point 10. Let's go ahead and stabilize. Get into a hover. Face the target approximately in this direction. I mean, to be fair, the only reason why you saw that is because it was smoking. Uh, so, fingers crossed, it's actually an enemy. All right, we'll hold that. Now, let's slave to. Yeah, this is the general area, so it's somewhere there. Oh my god. <laughs> nope, that... Okay, well, I can't tell if that's damaged or if that's fire, but that is definitely dead. I just can't tell if there's something else that's smoking next to it that badly. I don't want to hit it anyways, though. 3,000 meters away, it's not... Oh! Please tell me we don't have an Abrams. That's an alive Abrams. That is an alive Abrams. Is that ours? I swear. Hold on. Where are we looking right now? We're looking... We're looking directly ahead. Right? Yeah. We're looking ahead and to the right ever so slightly, which means we're looking this way and to the right. That might be ours. Is it this guy? That's a mortar. That's a mortar. Okay, so definitely not that. We have RPG unit here. So these are squishy foot soldiers, right? Is it these guys? So those are all foot soldiers. I see no Abrams on this anywhere. Oh, looks like we're getting our illumination rockets. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Cool. Thank you for that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to utilize them in time, though. What do you think, chat? Should we kill this thing? We can. We just need to decrease our altitude a little bit because we're a little too high. I'll leave it up to you guys. Do we kill this M1 Abrams? Oh, that's rockets. You have to you have until the Hellfire sees the target. Once it does, I'm just gonna rifle. If you disagree, let me know. Because as far as I can tell, we have no 
Abrams that are friendly around us. The problem is, based on the direction I'm facing, it's somewhere here. Like, I can't tell what this is. This is like 1.6 nautical miles. It's a little bit to the right, which makes me think, oh yeah, hey, look at that. Yeah, so someone called out a tank is right there. Okay, cool. So that's our that's our target. So I'm gonna nose down ever so slightly. And then so this is gonna look a little weird. So I'm gonna have to laze like this, nose down slightly, and then rifle once the missile picks up the target. So let's nose down. And rifle. Hit one rifle. Uh-oh, he's looking right at us. Looking right at us. Hell yeah. Check. Oh. Check Abrams. So, that was a target. But we ca we've already captured this city, so it didn't really help. What we care about is over here. All right, we're just going to allow ourselves to just slowly drift in that direction while we look around. All right, we're going to have to look around manually, which sucks, but it is what it is. I'm glad the FCR picked that up, though. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> Accidents happen. <laughs> hey, that, that happened earlier. Um, how good is the Vader 3 for DCS? I would say it is probably the best controller available right now for DCS just because of the added extra buttons that are available for it. What was that? Why did why did those explode? Also, this makes me feel like something is damaged, not dead, because I expect this giant plume of smoke when something's dead. I don't expect this tiny little one. So there has to be something else right here, aside from the T-90 we killed earlier. So... Good, we still have a slave point there, so once we drift off for a bit, I'm going to take another look. But in the meantime, I'm just going to look around in this direction. Because, so this bit of the city right here, is what we're looking at here. You can tell because you can also cross-reference with these guys. Those guys are these ones here. So we know approximately where we're looking, so we're basically at the edge. But we have all this space to cover, and we have to find potentially like one random soldier in there. It's just going to be impossible, unless we get lucky. What would be nice is if we had a JTAC. JTAC might be able to, uh, to actually tell us exactly the coordinates of potential enemy threats in the area. What's going on here first? Well, not visible. It's our altitude. It's still good. Just... We won't bother with the altitude hold. Alright, so. We care about everything in this. In fact, are those some buildings we care about? We care about this factory. Which I believe is this guy here. So that's good. And then a, like a couple blocks out in the... Oh! oh. <laughs> that scared me for a second. I thought that was me. <laughs> I pressed F6 instead of F1. Oh, what's that? Nothing. See, I thought this, like, moving texture here was, like, smoke or something, but it's nothing. Maybe it is just the damaged T90. Wait, is that damaged or is that dead? Okay, hold on, let me... Pretty sure that's just... That's dead. I see the tracks are off the rail, so... Yeah, it's just dead. Okay, whatever. I guess I learned something new. Do you think you make a controller mapping guide in the future, or I don't know if you ha already have one? I mean, I do already have a whole tutorial that walks you through how to set up binds in DCS. If you just look up how to, what is it again? It's like, how to use a gamepad in DCS or something along those lines. Then you'll find my video on how to do it. It just uses the F-18 as an example. So based on what you learned there, you can then apply it to all my other guides 
So use that as a way of learning how to use the binding menu, and then use my layout images to then set up whatever module you're trying to bind. Not a problem. Oh boy. I'm just gonna have to look up and down these these roads here and hope I can find something. Like See, like this guy right here, I'm pretty sure is friendly. I'm I'm fairly confident that guy is friendly. Directly off to our left. Yeah, I think it's these guys here. But if it was the last remaining soldier, like this dude is just like gliding around over here. Like, do we have moving units in that area? Yeah, this guy, right? I mean, I, I, wait, I can't see him. I mean, does he look like he's holding an M4? Like he's just gliding around on his knee? Is that our guy? Like, is he just going back and forth? I mean, this guy's moving a lot. I feel like this guy isn't moving that much. Oh, wait, is it this guy? I'm going to wait for him to turn around, and then if he turns around at the exact same time as I see it in F10, then I know it's him. There. Oh, I don't think that's him. I think that... Oh. <sighs> Chat. Should I do it? How far is this guy? 2.6, he's in gun range. Oh, let me store. Target point 11. By the way, an ad is about to run in 20 seconds, so I'm going to wait for that. To go through. Let me know when you guys are back, because I don't want you to miss this. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and park it. I'm gonna regret this. Blue on blue. We're gonna triple check. We are gonna triple check. You guys are gonna be my witnesses. That we triple checked and made sure that this guy was in fact... Where is it? Right there. Make sure we face that. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, man, what is with these ads? Are they just like five-second non-skippables or something? Like, you guys are back so fast. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> we are going to double and triple and quadruple check because I don't want to kill another friendly if I can help it. But this dude is just gliding around holding a stick of some kind. For all I know, this is like... like a technician or something just walking around with a wrench, gliding on his knee. I swear, he is not moving in the same way as this. Okay, so I'm facing him now. So, whoever I'm facing is off in this direction. Oh, you know what? It might be this guy. No, he's not moving, though. Yeah, he's not moving. So if, is it this guy? No, this guy's moving like crazy. Like, is the F10 map way different than what I can visually see? Like this dude is whipping all over the place. But this guy, well, I mean, I guess he kind of is, but I also see a dead body next to him and that's kind of sus. Like, he's barely moving, by comparison, right? I also have dead bodies over here. For all I know, he set off an IED and just killed all these dudes, and he's just in hiding now. And the one person that found out who he was is now dead in the alley. <sighs> I regret this. Oh, 
Hold on, let me just check one more time. Let me just... Wait, sorry. Sorry, guys. Let me just check one more time. We are facing pretty much directly at him. He's within... 3k. I don't know what the math is on 3k, but I feel like it's right around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 nautical miles. So if he exists, he's probably like right in this hole over here. So let's see if this U-shape exists. So we have an intersection. We have a missing block area with no building, then a single car, and then this U-shape building. Let's see if we can find that. No, we can't. Where does that exist? Where's that building? So that's... So that's this here. So there's that U-shape building, okay? So we're looking in the right direction. If we go just beyond that, he might be in here somewhere. Let's slave back over. Oh, that's actually pretty far. Huh. That's actually kind of far. And there's other dudes right here as well. Like, I think there was still one alive dude right here. These might be the leftover troops. Uh. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so you see we have this cluster of buildings here that is next to this cluster of larger buildings and then this long block here. So let's see if we can find this intersection. We know the long intersection. So this way, across here, across here, oh, might be these guys. Might actually be these guys. I think, no, that's not the one I'm looking at. So here's that big building. So here's the long block. Here's these new buildings. Then what we were looking at is over here, I think, right? So let's see. There's three buildings, two buildings. At the intersection with three cars on the other side and across the way. So let's see if we can find that. So what's that? Just a car. Where is he? So he's here. Okay, so this isn't an intersection. This is like halfway down the block. So it's halfway down this block next to that block. So halfway into here. So he's like inside. I think that's him, boys. I think we got him. Yeah, I think we got him. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god, let's do it. Okay, let's 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 see where that lands. You guys as my witness. I was thorough in my investigation. Okay, let's see how um, let's see where those shots land. Okay, they're landing a little left. Then you go here and fire. I should do it. Got him. Oh, thank God he was not friendly. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to drift off to the left just a little bit. Jesus. Can't believe how much I had to work for that just to make sure he wasn't a bad guy. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. That was him. That was literally the last guy. I can't believe how hard I had to work to make sure that, oh my god. Oh. Yo, hell yeah. Oh. Jesus. Okay, well, before I forget, because I, I totally forgot I have a, um, I have extra fuel I need to use. Oh, jeez. Nerve-wracking, dude. Oh. All right. And because that was the last capture point, we now need to hold it for 265 more seconds, and then the lattice will proceed deeper into enemy territory, so we can finally move on to capture these guys. Oh my god. Oh man, that, that was rough. That, I'm so glad I was able to find him, but that was impossible. They're, like, we should not have been able to do that. Oh. Okay, let's uh, let's get flying off in this direction because we don't want to be around when things spawn. 
So I'm going to give myself a healthy distance away from potential threats. Uh, but hopefully this time around we can actually use our FCR to fire off some radar hellfires once things spawn. Woo! You guys as my witness. I made for damn sure that was not friendlies that time around. You have the setup for the controller for DCS? Yes, I do. In fact, I actually have this one on hand. So let me show you guys really quick. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, I mean, this is the CPG, but I mean, that's basically what you're looking for. Well, that's the CPG layout. So feel free to use that. So take a screenshot. Just grab an image of that really quick. And that is what I'm currently using for uh, the CPG seat. And it will work for an Xbox controller. So that's the CPG seat. I On my usual uh, album's layout, you'll find everything else. So in fact, let me uh, grab that for you guys so you don't have to go digging for it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hopefully I don't crash. Yes. Let's send you over to the imager album. There we go. So here's a link to my imager album. So that is where you'll find all my guides, all my tutorials, all my layouts for DCS with a controller. If the module does not exist yet, let me know if you want a specific module added. Just keep in mind, it takes me time to create the layouts because I want to make sure they're as optimally designed as possible. I want to make sure they're as ergonomic as possible. In fact, I have a tutorial that I'm going to be creating at some point soon where I'm going to revise pretty much every single layout, but uh, I will also be providing the profiles for you to download and simply import. Um, so for now, just enjoy the layouts as they are already, uh, but just keep in mind, whatever I come up with later are going to be modified a bit, but the benefit is you can just import them and use them. In theory. I mean, I don't know if it's actually going to work out that way. That's the whole point of my testing and why it's taking so long to uh, to put together. So don't wait for this to come out. Like, don't hold your breath for it, for it to come out. It's going to take a while. Uh, so for now, that should get you uh, set up. All right, I'm going to chill here on this side of the city. Oh, my God, I'm so happy that worked out. Literally, the last dude was in an alleyway next to a dead body. Pretending to be to like some Comcast technician or something. Don't worry, I'm working on your internet connection. Nothing suspicious here. Can't believe that's all it took to hold up this whole progress. That's nuts. We have one more minute before we capture. Alright, we'll chill here for a bit. We should have plenty of fuel. And we still have at least times eight radar hellfires. Sorry, times four radar hellfires, and then times one uh, kilo, which is the laser. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer. So if you have any just general questions for DCS, like how you do something or how do you create something, Anything along those lines, let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Alright, let's see what this new zone is like. So it is now captured. The lattice... Oh. Um? Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, so it's got push south, not west. Okay, so we're gonna work on this guy first. Let's grab this. We'll input that into our coordinates. In fact, we'll make this a waypoint instead. So let's go point, add waypoint, ident, 36, Romeo, Victor, Victor. Nice. 3344, 344. 3197. 3197. Oh, come on. Enter 7 feet. You're good. Alright. 
Now, what waypoint was that again? Waypoint... Oh, it was just the first one. Nice. We'll grab that. Route. Direct. Sorry. Add. I think it's just W... Oh, w... Zero... One? Pretty sure. Oh. And now we can do it. Enter. Yeah, there we go. We'll put it here. Direct ourselves to it. And there she is. Now, before we go off and ex overextend ourselves, what we're actually going to do is we're going to slave to that and see what's actually over there first before we get so close that we get within firing range targets. Okay, it looks like it's a wide open area. Let's see what the what it covers. So... There's this thing of water, it goes from this side of it, next to this canal, and then it goes to this curved portion with a smaller river, or another point of reference is this L shape. Let's see if we can find these two circles. The first one, here's the main channel, so this is going to be this guy here. Yeah, I feel like I need to reposition myself just uh, east of these buildings so, I, I, so that I can look down them. But we can already see targets right there. So, got targets there. Um, um, um. I'm going to find the other location. It's a little hard to tell. But there's... Is it among a bunch of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the factories. So that's the other location there. Factories. Okay, cool. So we got our two uh, two target areas. So let's fly on over without getting too close. Hopefully, we can still utilize our altitude like we have been. Um, but this FCR uh, needs to be within six k to be able to actually target anything. And that's just a little too close for comfort. So I might stick to 8.5 and use my uh, TADS to shoot at things instead. It'll keep me far away, out of reach of their weapons. And I don't have to bother playing peekaboo with the FCR. How do you get the little pop-up when you damage something off the screen? Yeah, so that's the BDA report. Um, if I remember right, there's actually a way I could toggle that on from the menu. Oh, please. Stop. Okay, well... Just gonna we have plenty of altitude. I can sacrifice some to f oh battle. Oh, maybe it's a UI layer thing. Yeah, here we go. BDA show and hide. It's right alt and uh apostrophe. So single quote. Right alt and single quote. The toggle at on and off. And that's what will give you a little pop-up in the corner that says when you've done like X amount of damage to a particular unit. So it's useful to let you know when you've actually hit something. And it'll also tell you, you know, like if it was red, if it was blue, so you know if you killed an, a friendly or, or an enemy. Pretty useful, it's just a little immersion breaking. Friend's been riling the H64 using their bindings for CPG and it's going great. Wish it was easier to convince them to follow your layout all the way while learning. Yeah. It's, uh... I mean, in the end, I understand that people have their own preferences. Like, I put a lot of time and energy and effort to creating these layouts, but I can totally understand that people have a preferred way of using their controllers, which, rightfully so, they, they should. They should use my layouts as kind of like a baseline to see what's possible, and then obviously customize based on their own preferences. Now, that being said, I've done a lot <laughs> of optimizations when it comes to making sure you can do everything you need to using only a controller. So everything is strategically placed, whether you're talking about the weapon systems, the controlling of the collective versus countermeasures, everything I've set up is strategically placed. So maybe it just takes them using it and then trying their own system and then realizing it's not as good to then say, okay, well, maybe Tuvas is doing it well. Or, or they'll find something better and then be able to tell me how I can make my layouts better, because that's what I would really enjoy, is people giving feedback, letting me know how I can improve the layouts 
to then improve the experience for the next person who doesn't have to worry about coming to that conclusion later on. That would be awesome. Do you think you are done with the MI24 hind layout, or is it still a work in progress? Uh, that's a good question. A lot of layouts that are work in progress, the only reason why they stay in there is because I feel like I haven't explored the module enough yet. Um, but all the Cold War era aircraft, whether they're helicopters or, uh, or jet aircraft or planes or whatever, they tend to be pretty easy to bind for just because there's not a lot of complexity in their systems. Like, let's say, for example, in the Hue or Apache. This has a lot of complexity, but the hind, not so much. So my initial reaction to that is to say yes, but I'm also hesitant to say that just because I haven't given the hind enough game time to be confident in that, if that makes sense. So I'd say it's safe enough to, to try to learn. I might make adjustments later, but it's up to you uh, and whether or not you find those adjustments useful for you. Thanks, Blake. I appreciate it. Did you paint your Vader 3 Pro? It looks better all in black. No, so this is the default color. I don't know if you can stands out well. It's probably because I have my contrast settings a little bit different on my camera, but this is still the default um, like gunmetal gray that it has. I, I haven't painted it or anything. We've got units out in the open here. Another one here. Another one here. Looks like a Shilka or something. It looks like potentially another Shilka. Not get. Oh, you know, I just realized. I don't think I ever turned. Oh my god. I never turned this on. Oh, no wonder it's been so quiet. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, good. There's no SA-8s out in the distance. We're safe. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been horrible. I do that so often, it's embarrassing. Like, if I'm flying the Harrier, because the Harrier is known for its obnoxious RWR. Like, my fiance complains about it every time I fly that aircraft, because you just hear nothing but, like, an orchestra of radar warning sounds. But, um, because of that, I tend to, like, mute it until I'm in the AO, but then I forget that I'm I'm supposed to you know, bring it back online once I'm in the AO. Then I just fly around whimsically, unknown to radar threats in the area. Sometimes it works out, other times it doesn't. Okay, let's see what this is like. So, range still above 10k. Radar one o'clock searching. Track radar. I'm kind. Probably not close enough to me to be a threat. Yeah, there's a couple more here. Like we got Goosey hitting this north strip area. We'll take northeast. Then there's these couple of factories down here, which I believe are this guy. No. Are they all the way down here? Are they next to a bridge? I feel like that's like way down here. It can't be that far, so it must be. Yeah, it must be these guys here. Yeah, yeah, it's those guys. Alright, where are we at now? Getting pretty close. Almost within firing range for the Hellfires we want. We're going to wait till this guy's in firing range, and then we'll park it. Which map is this? This is Sinai. Once we're 8.5, we'll park it. There it is, 8.5. So let's go ahead and chill here. Let's get a bunch of altitude. 
No need to dip down if we don't have to. A lot of people like to stay low Radar. with the Apache, low and slow. But as long as you have the range advantage, you really don't have to worry about being way up in the sky unless there's enemy fighters in the area. Then, of course, you don't want to be up this high. But all you're doing is going up against Shilkas and tanks and stuff. As long as you're like 8.5, 7.5, even 6 away, you should be safe. But I wouldn't get much closer than 6, which is right around where the FCR becomes effective. Which is why I don't generally like using the FCR, because it makes it forces you to get just a little too close for comfort, at least in my opinion. Alright, we'll let that stabilize. If you notice, I'm not even I'm not touching the controller anymore, I'm just letting it do its thing. Oh, looks like someone's someone is lazing. Yeah, that's the other Apache firing off a hellfire. He's stealing our kills! How dare he! But that does remind me, let me switch this off to Echo so I don't have to worry about it. So he got that guy. We'll go for this one, if that's the case. But since he's out in the open, let's use our radar hellfire and see if, uh... So there's actually an issue with the radar hellfires. Um... Radar. 11 Tracking. Why aren't you... Why aren't you switching out? Radar. Why can't radar. I switch you out? Am I not pressing the right button? Like, what's happening here? Type, cell. I, there we go. I think I was just pressing the wrong button. Okay. So let's see just how inaccurate this is going to be. Because I've I've been flying for quite a while. I feel like this is going to be having an INU offset issue. Let's see what happens. Fly for off. Radar. Missile. Forward. Searching. Radar. 12 o'clock. Searching. Radar. See, I make my call outs. Alright, we got 20 seconds on that flight. My gut is telling me this is not going to actually hit because there's probably an INU offset issue. So wherever the explosion happens, I would have to offset my crosshair relative to that off wherever the explosion happens. Hopefully that's not the case, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, never mind. It's spot on. Nice. That is honestly kind of surprising. Ah oh, no, your controller broke right as you bought it? Well, I guess it's time for a new controller. There's always the Vader 3 Pro. There's another one. We'll hit this guy next. Rifle off it. Hey, where was your invite? <laughs> oh, Sly! Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were you were on the server because I saw like an SLY name, but that might have been someone else. What's up, man? Oh, oh, thank God! I was just watching my stream right now and I saw the flash go off showing the Hellfire launching, and I'm like, oh God, what am I, am I being shot at? Yeah, there's the shack. How's it going, Sly? Are you flying with only controller? Yes, I am. Both hands are on the controller, nothing else. Fixed wing. Seven o'clock. That's the whole point of like showing it right here is because you can see that I'm literally doing nothing else. There's no head tracking, there's no foot pedals or anything like that. It's literally just me and my controller. Also, is that a target? I feel like that's yep, that's a target. But it's surrounded by trees, so we're gonna have to use our um oh. radar. Eleven o'clock. We're gonna have to use our uh twelve o'clock searching. Our kilo hellfire for that. What is going on? Why, why is it so hard to select these new, these other radar types? There we go. Oh, never mind. That was interesting. So, 
I wonder if that was actually desync. It's like, t from my perspective, it wasn't from the shooter's perspective, but from mine. It's like that Hellfire ripped through this building, exploded, but it, like, over-penetrated and then hit that and then exploded again. That's kind of epic. Even if it was caused by desync. But, uh, at least we don't have to worry about wasting a Hellfire on that guy. I'm going to without me. <laughs> I know, the 64 has been your go-to lately, right? You've been learning a lot with it. Which reminds me, I need to uh, finish up that mission. I've got uh, the idea in place, I just need to like refine the placement of units. But, for so you guys don't know, me and Sly are going to try to work on a video to demonstrate the data link. How, like the power of the data link when you use a couple of Apaches on a single objective. And it's really freaking cool. Unfortunately, not many people use it because not everyone flies with like a two ship formation. So they don't bother setting up data links. But I'm telling you guys, you go through the effort of saying, hey, you want to be my wingman into a couple of Apaches and then set up the data link properly. This thing is a f just a menace in the skies. This thing is crazy good. Like it, you thought it was powerful already, but you have no idea. Also, is that really all there was out here? I feel like that might be everything. I wish there was a way to tell. Isn't there a command that you run, like like exclamation update or something like that? Let me look that up really quick. Oh, my card updated. Audio guide updated. I don't know what the command was. It's something like exclamation target in order to get the latest information about an objective. Maybe if I do this. Ray flag update status. How does one get an update of the area? So we know something is finished or not. That from above. How to update mission status? Is that what I need to look up? The fact that you were in a hover so high as me. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about this earlier, is that as long as there's no, like, enemy air threats, and as long as you're at least, I would say, six kilometers away from the target area, but, you know, say for Tunguskas or something, you should be plenty safe. Like, there's no reason to get down low and, and close if the threats you're looking at just can't reach you anyways. I swear, I thought there was a command. The command? Is that what I should look up? Radar. Isn't the update 11 Tracking. working? Fixed wing. 12 Searching. Radar. 12 okay, okay. Searching. So, Radar. supposedly, it is Searching. hyphen updates, Radar. and then the lattice Searching. you want to update. Searching. If I do that... Is that not how that works? Oh, well, someone dropped off troops anyway, so whatever. Uh, okay, so we will shift our focus off to those factories off to the east. Or sorry, west. These guys. How many alphars we got? We got two radars, one... I think we just have radar hellfires. Yeah, I think we only have radar uh, hellfires. No, no, one, sorry, one laser, two radar. And we need to be off in that direction. Uh, I don't know if that's really going to work, but we can try. 
Searching. Gun, 11 o'clock. That's not good. Gun, uh, gun 11 o'clock. Radar, 5 o'clock. Searching. The one we killed earlier. Gun, 11 o'clock. Searching. Gun. I feel like that is something, right? Searching. Gun, 11 o'clock. Searching. Radar, 3 o'clock. Searching. For all that stuff to start popping up, it's almost like there might be a convoy or something. Gun. 11 o'clock. Unless we have a gun out here. No, those are just troops. What is happening? Radar. 12 o'clock. Searching. Gun. 11 o'clock. SA2. 11 o'clock. Searching. Radar. 12 o'clock. Searching. Radar. 12 o'clock. Searching. Yeah, that's a little sketchy that I'm getting pop-ups about a gun. That usually implies there's a Shilka that's suddenly popped up and looking for us. But that would really only happen if they're moving, because we haven't moved. A little sketch. A little sketch. What is... Oh my god. Okay, so it's just a bunch of buildings. Well, there's one of the factories. In fact, I think they're both right here somewhere. Yeah, so they're just a little bit in from the from the road. That must be like right here. Yeah, here we go. So it's these two guys. So there should be one there. Yeah, yeah. So this these two. But this is one. That's the other. Those are the other two objectives. That might be something right there. It's a tree. Okay, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's not get too distracted. We'll head over to the right. See if we can assist this other Apache, Goosey, for the North Strip. See if there's anything to hit over there. In this case, let's actually use our FCR this time. And it's right there. We'll get within 6k of it. We're not going to fly directly at it because we want to keep our speed up in the event we get shot at. But we also want to close the distance, so we'll slightly move towards it. And once we're within 6k, probably 5.5 to 5k, just to cover the whole area, we'll turn on our FCR and uh, see if there's anything over there. Yeah, we've already got our acquisition to target point 12. SA2, That's good. Nine o'clock. Searching. I'm not even looking at the chat at this point. There we go. I assume this low level low level hell server. No, it's the uh, the um, gray flag server. This is uh, God. What's it called? Death from above. See what I mean about the hover? Yeah. Us. Oh, oh, thank God. I thought that said like one minute or something. So the server's going to restart in an hour. Will no longer be night mission at that point. It'll probably be early morning. So it's still going to be dark. But at least it'll eventually get bright. So there's 5.9. Let's start turning on our FCR for the area. Target point is already set. So let's... Why are you not scanning... In the appropriate there we go anyway, duh I have to slave let's scan so it saw targets on the left oh that's actually kind of weird that it found targets on the left I think it just might be the leftover carcasses yeah I'm pretty sure that's just the stuff we already hit so that should be fine Alright, so let's go ahead and park it.
Oh no, did he disconnect? No! <laughs> or Goosey. Alright, this should be a good enough hover. So now, let's go ahead and direct ourselves to target point 12, route. And, do you know what, let's go direct. Point E12. Enter. There we go. Um, there it is right there. Turn on our FCR. And then slave to it, and then scan. Do you see anything? We've got the helo that's in the area. And just to just just to double check, let's stop scanning. We will select this as our target. Set the FCR as our acquisition source, and then slave our tads to whatever that is. Just to make sure. Whatever it thinks exists is right there. Somewhere. Yeah, it just might be this carcass here. Okay, so non-issue. It's okay. And the FCR didn't pick up anything over here, so I'm just going to visually scan for stuff. Should be safe, though. If not, we're about to see some tracer fire for that Huey that's flying in right now. In fact, we can see the Huey here. Keep an eye out. Switch to RF for now. <clears throat> as long as we don't fire near the Huey, it should be fine. <laughs> I say as I laze the Huey location. That's pretty cool. Until some man pad walks under me, yeah. <laughs> well, as you see, QWERTY, if you're still on, DCS is free. So if you wanted to give it a shot, just to test and see, you never know. As long as you make sure to play on the multi-threaded version of the game, you might be surprised just how low end of a system you can have to play DCS. Like, for example, I can actually play DCS on this. And what is this, you ask? This is a GPD Win Mini. It's a little hard to show you guys just because it's, um, kind of takes up the whole screen, but look at it. It's like a little pocket sized, like mini netbook or something. I, I don't know what, how to describe this. It's effectively a Steam Deck. A little more powerful, has more memory, but it can run DCS natively. This is just a handheld. I have thumbsticks. ABXY, D-pad, I have triggers, I have shoulders, start and select, has everything I need plus a full keyboard, well not a full keyboard, but like, you know, the basics of a keyboard, and a trackpad. And this thing can run DCS natively, like I'm not streaming to it via like Steam Link or something, it can run DCS. So you might be surprised. Nice, so that was indeed open. So let's go ahead and shift our focus to these factories. These guys here. So I'm going to store that as target point 13. Coordinate 13. We'll direct ourselves to 13 as well. Point Six, three, one, 11, three. Enter. And let's go ahead and fly our way over there. There it is. 9.9 .9 kilometers, not bad. We'll once again get within about 6. I don't think there's going to be too many threats for us to worry about. Also decrease our altitude towards we were kind of high up. We're so high up that our 
laser hellfires can't actually look down far enough to track our laser point, so we need to uh, correct that a little bit. We'll just be uh, overspeeding a tad on the way. What the hell? Oh, that's anti-collision light. Alright, this should be low enough. Let's go ahead and gain altitude back and just level out. And we'll slow ourselves down just by staying straight and level. Fixed wing, 8 o'clock, searching. Fixed wing, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is friendly. There's six, so let's slow her down. By the time we slow down all the way, we should be well within range for our FCR. Radar, seven o'clock, searching. All right, there we go. Yeah, this should be plenty close. 5.5? In fact, we can start just like drifting ever so slightly forward. About 20 knots, that should be good enough. Let's drop the collective. Yeah, that should be nice, comfortable pace as we get closer. Waiting for my, <laughs> my Apache to stop freaking out. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now... Let's do this. FCR is selected. We will slave to that area and then we will start scanning. And we already see a helo in that direction. Interesting. Oh, right. There it is. Gosh, this dude is just running in. Like, he has no care in the world. Ghost. Ghost 1-1. One, one. Here I am being like super cautious, just staying at like 5.56k, and this dude is just running in. Let's see if this is contested. I'm going to be very surprised if it isn't, because we haven't touched this objective at all, and it says it's red. Oh, and it's... Oh. Is that contested? What kind of blue is that? Yeah, that's contested. Alright, cool. So we will just use our eyeballs and try to find something over there. So in theory, in fact, let's uh let's stop drifting forward because I don't wanna risk getting any closer if I don't have to. Problem is, we only have three Hellfires left. Which means if we want to do... Oh no, we have rockets as well. So, I mean, I guess it's good for just killing anything in a general area, but uh, not great if we have friendlies in the area. Okay. Give our Apache time to settle. Okay, settle down, and increase that collective just a little bit, and down a bit. Okay, that's good. Alrighty, let's uh, focus in on the area. What is out there? This guy. Oh, he's a threat. Um, let's put him off to the left. Add. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. So what I'm doing is I'm offsetting him off to the left. So if you notice, this little square here is offset to the left, which indicates that this guy that I'm looking at is also to the left. Because when I use my radar Hellfire, it will curve off to the right and then swoop in from this direction and hit him from the side instead of hitting one of these buildings instead. So I want to avoid hitting these buildings by making a curve off to the right and then hit him from this. The only way to do that is put it, to put him left of my nose. Well, that's all that means. 
now if I hit weapon, make sure we are using Raider Hellfires, then I will lock him up just to make sure I have a solid track on him. And then I'll laze. Oh, 8.3, that's not too bad. Rifle off. And rifle. I mean, hopefully it doesn't hit the pole. Uh, but I feel like that's a wide enough open area that we don't have to worry about that. So if everything works out correctly. Since I offset him to the left, you'll see the missile hit him from the right, like probably from like this direction. And fingers crossed it doesn't hit this pole on the way in. Oh no, and that ad got inserted at the wrong time. Hopefully you guys see it. And Shaq. Well, welcome back. Hopefully you guys saw that, but we got the Shaq. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's another... No, nope, that's not another guy. Just a hot vehicle, that's not unfriendly. Another static. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have one more radar hellfire and one laser hellfire. What's that? Looks like a building or something. Does the circle extend all the way? Yep, yes it does. Wait. Yeah, it, co it pretty much covers this whole city, so. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if there's anything I can spot troop-wise. That isn't friendly, ideally. Like, these guys are just chilling over here. As long as they stay there, I should be happy. Oh, God. I have to uh, reorient myself in a different position to be able to see anything. I have a couple choices. I can place myself over here in this area to get a good eye on the targets so I can look down the streets from this direction but that's also deeper into enemy territory so if I look at it from this side of the water it should be safer but I'm also going to be flying over these cities I can just avoid those entirely hmm. okay before we do that let's look at the opposite city as well See if there's anything else here that we can target like this thing right here that looks like that looks like something interesting Check it tell. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to just reposition ourselves. Okay, that's fine. We'll place something here. E14. PSD, route, direct, point. E14, enter. Alright, so now we know exactly where we want to go. Right there. Alright, let's go over. We'll cross the river first and then we'll head south. South? Yeah, south in that direction. Surprised we haven't run out of fuel yet. I feel like we're probably getting pretty low at this point. We've got about another 35 minutes of fuel left. Based on the current usage, at least. Yeah, we're gonna have to think about uh, heading home at some point. 
happy you are doing this today, otherwise I would be so bored. <laughs> it's a Sunday, it's the weekend. You have nothing else planned for the day? I mean, I'm glad you stopped by, because it gives me someone to talk to, at least. Also, I'm really happy that the stream has not died once yet. You have returned. Welcome back. Not bad. You'll get cavities from it? Is it that candy like? Oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's start turning south. I was in chat a few months ago when you were stream stopping, when the stream stopping was an issue. Did you figure out what it was? Yeah, so, well, I mean, I didn't really truly figure out what it was. All I know is that I upgraded my internet so that it has faster speeds now because I've been wanting to get higher upload speeds for a better bitrate. But on top of that, I found out it wasn't quite reaching those rates despite having upgraded, which means my modem was actually um, either old or maybe it was somehow broken or it just, I don't know, something was wrong with my modem. And once I replaced that, that's when I got a bunch more uh, reliable, like I got a way more reliable and stable internet connection. You ghost gamings? What the heck? <laughs> All right, who do I need to ban? Just tell me. You guys need to duke it out. Settle it in Smash. <laughs> it's actually something we used to do at the office is uh, because we we had a group of guys who all like to play Super Smash Brothers if we ever had an argument or we wanted to bet on something we would just play Smash and whoever uh, whoever won got the, the deal out of whatever it was an example of that is like if two engineers went up against each other then uh, one would get the other's defect that they were complaining about something along those lines yeah, this should be close enough. All right, let's see if we see anything from this position. We'll bring it to a stop. Let it turn to the right. And then come to a hover. Come on. Keeping on that symbology. Looking at our descent rate. There we go. This should be a nice and stable auto hover at this point. So I'm going to release force trim. Then I'm going to decrease my collective to match. Oh. Oh. Come on, Apache. You can do it. <laughs> I feel like I could have been a little more stable before we're letting go of the force trim, but that's fine. Let me open a new tab and look. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Fixed wing. Hey, what's up, California? How's it going? I wouldn't say legend, but I'll do what I can. All right. So. We are now in a stable hover, so let's go ahead and select target point 13, and then this, and then slay. Ooh. Let's just manually look over here. And sure enough, there is a target. Well, we're going to hit that next with our Kilo Hellfire. Actually, how far away is that? Yeah, it's five kilometers. We'll use our. Rifle off. You were on Twitch, you're a legend. <laughs> nah. I just lurk and chat to random people online. But I appreciate the sentiment. I do. 
All right, so that's one unit down. Still not taken. That means there's still more out there somewhere. But if that was within, uh, yeah, it was within 6K, I should be able to spot stuff with my FCR. So let's see if I can do anything there. Brick point 13, so let's slave. More radar there. Slave. And then, oh, now I should probably set a new target point. So let me actually fix that. So we'll set a target point here. That way it covers both cities. Target point 15. Set that. FCR, slave, and then scan. Let's see what it gets. Ooh. What is that? That looks like a wheeled vehicle. Let's stop scanning. Set our TADS as our site. Set FCR as our acquisition source. Hit that. Then slave the TADS to whatever that is. Oh. And it's an approximate location. There she is! Look at that. 5k? I feel like I should just get closer and use my guns. And let's just get closer to that. So let's uh, do that. We will get a bit closer. So what we actually mean by get closer is I'm just going to increase my forward speed to about 10 knots, maybe 20. And then just ever so slightly get closer and closer to the target area until I'm in range. Oh, and there's the low fuel warning. I've got about 25 minutes left of fuel. Which I think is going to be right in line with the server restart, so maybe I don't have to RTB. I would like to. Just to call it a good mission. Alright, there's about 10 knots, so we'll tell it to hold that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to increase to uh, to like 15 or something. Oh, maybe not. Alright, cool, it's holding that. Yes, I know, I know, I know. We've got time, we've got time, we're good. Alright, so let's uh, oop. get to this guy. This is the only wheeled vehicle it saw. We're going to use our guns on this. <laughs> I appreciate California. As with the control, Fuzzy Apache there and... <laughs> The only reason why this is impressive is because not a lot of people do it. Once people actually try flying the Apache with a controller, they realize it's honestly not that bad. And then they'll look back at me and they'll be like, ah, Tuvas, he, he was like, sure, he was the first guy, but it's really not, not that big of an achievement. We just need to get more people to use these things. All right, so we're going to get within 3K. So once this number becomes about, I'd say, 3,200, we'll start slowing down. In fact, I think I see another target right there. Oh. Something like that. You're saying you're a lot of people's first... <laughs> Oh boy. I mean, out of context, that could sound like something else entirely. Some of us are too attached to our big sticks. <laughs> oh man, out of context. That can sound like something else entirely. <laughs> What's there be flying on? I'm flying on a uh, gray flag C9. Uh, let's start thinking about slowing down now, because I don't, I don't want to get too close and have this guy start shooting at me. But also, I don't want to get too far that we can't hit him anymore. Let's uh, get back under control here.
Alright, here we go. This should be close enough. Okay, we should be good now. Got to stabilize. Wait for the Apache to settle down. I'm still holding for uh, force trim. And now that the Apache feels stable, I will release force trim. And now it doesn't have to fight as much to keep me there. It's still going to rock around, but uh, it'll do it less while it maintains the hover form. Okay, and there we go. Oh, and of course, we're not within 3k. <laughs> ah, okay, let's do it again. Get a little bit closer. Okay, now it should be close enough. Definitely be close enough now. Not so close that they're going to shoot at me. And keep in mind, all he has is an iron sight. So if he can shoot at me... Either I dumbly left my lights on, which I don't think I have, or he's just a Terminator behind that <laughs> behind that gun. And considering the AI in DCS, he probably is... <laughs> honestly, he's probably the latter. He's just a T-500... T-1000? T-500? Um, sitting on the bed of that truck. Alright, we've got 20 minutes left. Alright, cool. 20 rounds out. Let's see where those land. And we'll have to offset based on where they land. Oh, that's pretty close. Look, we're gonna have to go here. There it is. Good kill. Let's look around a little more. I thought I saw something up here, like this guy. Nope, that is just a car. Some dude's car that was about to be blasted. This one, just a car. This one, again, just a car, Jesus. Let's see if there's anything left over here. That, I don't believe, is anything we have to worry about. That looks like it's just a semi-truck. That is also just a semi-truck bed. That looks like something. Oh, that for sure. Oh, God, thank God I spotted that. Jesus. See where those line? It should be off to the right, if I remember right. So I have to offset here, I think. About here. There we go. Good kill. Is that nothing? Restarting 30 minutes. Don't care about that. Can't wait for the offset button to actually do what it says. Because apparently, if you see the shots land somewhere else, you can move the cursor over to that spot, hit the offset button, and then it will automatically correct for the windage direction that you noticed. But I don't think we have that yet. That's something, nope, that's the same semi-truck. There's our troops. I don't see anything. We're just going to work our way up and down this block because this is pretty much our last engagement. We don't have the feel for continuing this. I would like to let off one more Hellfire, though, before we go. All right, that was the BMP earlier. Uh, it's just the rooftop thing. It's still the semi-truck. Tree... Still contested. 
something else here. I don't know what. Oh, I know it's just another, like, lone troop somewhere. How much fuel do we have? 17 minutes? Actually, I'm going to keep that in, in view while we do this. Do, 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 do. Okay. Is that even in range? Yeah, so something that we're looking for is in the northern, sorry, the western side. Yeah, western side of the city. It's more in this direction. I don't see anything yet. What is that? That is just the corner of the circular bit. I don't know, man. I don't see anything else, and we don't have the fuel to reposition. I mean, what I could do... Yeah, what I could do is kind of orbit it, and then during the orbit, I will scan the targets. Yeah, that'll, that's the plan. I'm going to do a, a small little orbit, and while we orbit, we'll scan for targets, and that should give us a little more time on our flight. While letting the, the FCR do its magic. Let's set this to the left. Sorry, left. There we go. And then scan. Not gonna lie, that's a little distracting. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it thinks it found something, so let's see what those are. This is probably just the very same stuff we've already seen. We'll set this to FCR, and that's where that's taking us. Something around here, supposedly. A wheeled vehicle. Not those guys. Here? No. Oh. This is like right there. Okay, if that's the case, let's go for this other one. And we can select it. Fantastic. Maybe I thought it was this guy. Oh! It did think it was this guy. Hopefully that's not an issue. Hell yeah! Good job, FCR. If we can get it to do another scan really quick. Not picking up anything else, probably because of my current position. Hell yeah, I did it. That was the last one. Awesome. So unfortunately we are out of time because we are 15 minutes left on fuel, so we definitely have to think about moving to a nearby airfield. And unfortunately, the closest one is probably going to be this. Pretty sure that's ours. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to put that. Just fly straight for now. Let's zoom in. Point. Add. Waypoint. I know, blasphemy. I'm not using my controller for this, but uh, a little low on time. 5-7... Two six two nine six four two nine six four enter enter okay coordinates waypoint two slave and it is in that direction okay
Oh no. Oh no no. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I was gonna say. I thought this was telling me how many minutes I had before I reached it, but that's actually a different coordinate, so uh we might be able to get back in time before we run out of fuel. Might. We're gonna maintain this. Let's go route direct here. And it's what was it again? Waypoint three? Zero three enter? No. Zero two? I think it's zero two. Yes. And it's six minutes away. Perfect. We have time. Fixed wing. Twelve o'clock. Searching. And we have eleven minutes to left on fuel, so we should be able to get back in time. <laughs> Important. <laughs> I just noticed that. Thank you so much for pointing that out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, we'll maintain. Oh, we'll maintain 69 torque. Probably going to drop right now because we're going to level out. Let's uh, get ourselves trimmed out. Get that ball centered and then we'll increase our torque. Get ourselves back up to the magic number. There it is. One more percent. Come on, you can do it. Come on, there it is. Magic number, there we go. No! Come on, come back. Come back, there it is. We're good. <gasps> Magic number. Alrighty, let's go ahead and master arm off. We're going to set this to NVG, and we'll switch to the Pinvis, so that we can have a faster response rate. Um, let's decrease the brightness so we can actually see. And then we'll turn this guy off. We're set. There we go. And we'll be there in about five minutes. In the meantime, let's see if I can catch up a chat. Did I miss a lot? Did I miss a lot? I need to like get used to seeing what you guys are typing and actually responding in time. Okay, thank god. You guys are just talking amongst each other. Perfect. I can't ask for anything better. Got nine minutes left on the flight, or on the fuel, but we have four minutes to go on the, on the route. So hopefully, we just get there and land. In fact, let me switch to the, let me switch to the pilot seat for this. These internal lights are uh, kind of dim. That's okay. We I guess we don't need them. How do I turn on those lights? Like, I thought these internal lights were supposed to be on by default. Why is this so dark in here? Let me do that. I think it's in here somewhere. Like the primary lights. Yeah, there we go. Just wanted to turn those on. Excuse you, George. Can you, like, e-arm the aircraft? Because we're kind of coming in for a landing here. George? George? Gun lost. Oh, boy. I don't think he's listening to my... D-Lost. He's selecting the weapons, but he's refusing to listen to my command to de-arm the aircraft. Um... <laughs> Hopefully the AI-ness of George hasn't taken over and he's going to have another word with those guys over there. Ghost 1-1, one, one, wage 60.
All right, let's correct our course. But before I sign off for the day, I want to get your guys' opinion. What do you think about this whole hand cam situation here? Because normally what I would do is I would do a face cam setup, but I don't have two cameras. But right now I have to choose between one or the other. Would you prefer having the interpersonal relationship that we'd have meeting eye to eye as I speak to you guys? Or do you want to see what I'm doing with my hands? Or alternatively, I can also set up a feet cam, but you know, that's going to cost you guys a little money. <laughs> I'll just be known as the talking hands. I want to see some fancy nails on those hands. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, I, I said that'll cost you more money, all right? Like, this is free. A feet cam is, is extra, extra moolah, all right? Oh, boy. I'm going to regret saying that because I know people out there are going to like dish out the money and then they're going to expect it to happen now that I've said it. <laughs> oh no. And, and take, it, take it from my fiance, my feet are not good looking. They are not worth the money. For the love of God, don't do it. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I could give you a paw cam from Pippin. If you guys want to see his feet. His furry ass little feet. Got seven minutes on the fuel, that's not bad. And then we'll park it next to this guy. In fact, let's uh, turn on our lights. Just in case he can't see us for whatever reason. Lights are on. And let's bring her down into a harbor taxi. Really great with your hands, though. <laughs> One, three, inbound. And now we are in a hover taxi ish kind of thing. In ground effect. And we'll just bring her over to the uh, parking spot. Not nearly as stable as I'd like to be. In that flight path marker, nose tail. There we go. <laughs> We're starting ten minutes. This is actually good timing. Not bad. Once we land, we'll do a quick review of the kind of damage we did. At least just based on the F10 map, and we should be good. Fixed wing. The, I don't think there's like actual parking spots, so I just have to like go in the dirt and land it, I guess. How often do I stream? So, I don't stream as often as I used to just because I had the whole internet situation, but now that it's been addressed, I might actually stream more often. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know, and also, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, whatever the heck it is YouTube is asking you to do these days. I guess I could park over here, actually. If you guys thought this was fun and want more of it, let me know. And I can definitely do this more often. Alright, here we are. We'll go ahead and park it on this side.
just hug this front area here. Ugh, not as stable as I would like. Go forward, please. Go forward, please. Go forward, please. I don't want that tail to hit anything. Ooh-wee! And bring it down. Hell yeah. And we're good. Thank God. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't even know what that looks like. Let's see if I could turn up the gamma and we can see just how close we called it with whatever's behind us. Uh, system. Gamma. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's roll forward. Our parking brake is disengaged. Let's roll forward a little bit. That's a little sketch. Uh, don't swing into it, please. And then parking brake... Engaged. Oh, please stop, 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 please stop. Jesus. Okay, well, we're partially in the dirt, but that's okay. Why did not, why didn't my parking brake actually stop me? That's weird. Anyways, we're now in the dirt, safely. Oh, we're not even in the dirt. Look at that. That's actually perfect. Oh, yeah. Do I fly fixed wing too? Yes, I do. In fact, my favorite aircraft to fly is the AVAP Harrier. Uh, and then my favorite helicopter is actually a toss-up between the uh, AH-64D Apache and the KA-50. Because the KA-50 is actually a really fun aircraft to fly. <gasps> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, like, it flies for you. Like, I love being lazy, so whatever aircraft I can fly that has the best autopilot is generally the one I will go for. And the KA-50's autopilot is just so much better than the, uh, the Apache's. So when it comes to just, like, being able to be off controls, yeah, K-50. But being able to kill stuff, uh, Apache. And then, as far as fixed wing, when it comes to autopilot, I actually really enjoy the F-15E. Uh, but the AVAP is also kind of nice, even though it's a bit more manual. It's still nice to use. You get that cinematic shot going here. Oh, in fact, let's do it from a distance. I'm going to do that, zoom in. And then here we go. That looks better. We'll keep that donut at the top. I really wish I had a, he a head tracker on right now, then I can do this properly. Oh, in fact, I could use my, my right thumbstick for this. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Look at that. Cinematic shot right there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey. Eh. Get out of the way! Get out of the shot! There we go. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so we have five minutes to review the damage we did, so let's, uh, let's take a look really quick. What kind of progress... Nice, so, yeah, that's right. So we are able to clear that up, so let's just review what we were able to do. We took off from the Terra, and keep in mind this is two hours and 38 minutes into the stream. Took off from the Terra with a full loadout of rockets and hellfires. Keep in mind, we didn't use the rockets at all during that whole time, and we have one radar hellfire left. Took off from here, flew for about, what, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from here to here. We saw that the objective area here was taken. Uh, in the process of trying to find the last remaining unit that was holding this objective area, we killed one friendly, but in the process, we knocked out a T-90, an M1 Abrams, as well as just a little dude scooting around on his knee. And that allowed us to capture that zone, which pushed this objective area down south, southwest. And now, we were able to make some progress in the northeast strip, along with Goosey, another AH-64D Apache, who unfortunately disconnected early. But without his help, we wouldn't have been able to capture both northeast strip, as well as north strip. And also, I didn't choose the factory life. <laughs> That's a hell of a name. Uh, so we were able to do a lot of progress in this two and a half hour session. So that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Let's see if I can get this in a good position. That's that's a pretty good shot, right? 
Let's get a little less of the tail, a little more of the nose. Right about there is pretty good. Get rid of that so it's not in the way. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today. So thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed the stream, let me know in the comments if you're watching this as a VOD later. And leave me a like, leave me a subscribe, leave me a thing. What? I don't know. Honestly, I never remember what YouTube tells you guys to be doing nowadays. But thank you all for joining. Thank you for watching. And see you guys next time in the skies. Have a good day.